actor location Didsbury, Capital Cinema, School Lane, no longer standing, now replaced by a block of flats, type, haunting manifestation date time, 1958 to 1998. The death of an actor, during a live broadcast of a show called Underground, inside this building resulted in a haunting that spanned five decades. Title, Shadows of the Spotlight in the Heart of Didsbury, nestled amidst the quaint streets, stood the Grand Capital Cinema. For decades, it was the beating heart of the community, a place where dreams flickered to life on the silver screen. But beneath the glamour and applause lay a dark secret, one that echoed through time. In the winter of 1958, on a night veiled in a thick fog, the capital was alive with the frenzied energy of a live broadcast. The show was underground, a gripping tale of secrets and intrigue set in the depths of the London subway. The lead role was taken by a charismatic actor named Victor Hartley, a man whose passion for the stage was only matched by the enigma that surrounded him. As the cameras rolled, the tension in the air was palpable. Victor, immersed in his role, moved through the mock tunnels with an intensity that left the crew in awe. It was in one such tunnel that tragedy struck. A faulty prop, a sudden misstep, and Victor found himself tumbling into darkness. The live broadcast captured the horror that unfolded. Gasps echoed through the cinema as the crew scrambled to rescue their fallen star. But it was too late. Victor Hartley's promising career was cut short, and the capital was forever marked by the specter of that ill-fated night. In the years that followed, tales of strange occurrences spread like wildfire. Lights flickered inexplicably, echoes of phantom footsteps reverberated through the halls, and a chilling presence lingered in the air. The capital cinema had become a stage for a different kind of performance, one that transcended the boundaries of life and death. As decades passed, the legend of Victor Hartley's haunting grew. Locals spoke of the ghostly figure glimpsed in the shadows, forever reenacting his final moments. Some claimed they heard the faint strains of laughter, the echo of a long lost applause. In 1998, as the last reel of film spun through the projector, the curtains fell for the final time on the Capitol Cinema. The building was raised to make way for a modern block of flats erasing the physical remnants of its storied past. But Victor's presence endured, undeterred by the passage of time. In the years that followed, residents of the new complex reported strange occurrences. Lights dimmed and brightened of their own accord, and the distant echoes of an audience's applause filled the corridors on quiet nights. The haunting of Didsbury's capital cinema was a testament to the enduring power of passion and the indomitable spirit of those who tread the boards. Victor Hartley, once a rising star, had become an eternal actor, his performance stretching across the decades. And so, in the heart of Didsbury, amid the modernity that now stood in the place of the grand capital cinema, the legacy of Victor Hartley lived on, a spectral reminder that sometimes, the show must go on, even in realms beyond the reach of the living. By Donald J.